Welcome back to Darksiders 3, everyone. Man, I did not mess up the title, but there's a good chance of this happening later on. I'm gonna call it like Dark Souls or some shit. Anyways, I almost thought I screwed up. But what I was gonna say is one thing that is... There's gonna be some shit here, aren't, isn't there? Oh, it just fell off. Okay. Um... One thing that's kind of good. I knew that war would one day God damn it, keep things. getting interrupted. So I was gonna say, before I get interrupted again. Alright. Is that just consumable soul? Basically. Um. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, one thing that is very good is that you do actually start from where you quit. Just like in Souls. I was worried that it would put me back to like a previous checkpoint or something. Like when you die, but it doesn't seem to be the case, which I'm very happy about. Because I think Darksiders 2 in particular, you basically have to save. Uh... Unless you're in a you're in a dungeon or something. I might be completely wrong on that, but that's how I remember it. I don't know why I'm jumping on shit. I just I kinda like jumping on shit. So right now, again, from what you probably saw so far, the combat right now is pretty shallow, but that was the exact same case with Darksiders 1 as well. You had very few moves. I saw the other one. You had very few moves at the start and you just kind of expanded. Alright. Enemies deal a lot of damage. Way more than in the previous games. I wonder if that's going to change as we go along in the game. Because, you know, one of the fun things about the previous games, and that's the last comparison I'm going to make to the previous games, or I'm going to try to. I mean, it's difficult not to make comparisons. When this is, of course, a sequel. Especially a sequel that's, you know, six plus years in the making. Six years, actually. Yeah, we'll heal up. Looks like we have some diverging paths here. We'll see if this actually leads to something or is just a side area or something like that. So again, you got to feel like a pretty big badass by the end of the previous games. Because you're just like so powerful. Pretty much anything other than like a big threat wouldn't be able to even touch you. Especially Darksiders too, because death is like... According to lore, you know... I'm the Vati of Darksiders. Uh, death is like incredibly powerful. Gotta get my one Vati reference per day in, you know. Just how I roll. But again, I really like this character so far. Fury. I like her characterization. Oh, I'm blind. And her weapon. I think whips are super good weapons for games like this. Nice. -o. Oh. First person? I didn't expect that. I thought she was gonna go all Samus on us and like curl into a ball or something. But no, no. It's all good, it's all good. We got this for quite a while too. That was going on. Anyways. Is that a new enemy type? Well, it went down really quickly, so... 
Oh no, it, no it's not. I was trying to do it. Okay. Traded places. Oh, nice too. Maybe that attack is worth using the stagger. And the perfect dodge. Really get good at those. Oh. We have some Metroidvania. We need the wave beam for that. Or the ice beam. I don't know. All I want is a new Metroid Prime, honestly. There's nothing else my soul wants. What up? Okay. Just come back down here. Oh. Look at that perfect dodge. The double counter as well. Told you. No hit, no death from now on. That was sick. Perfect dodges are so satisfying to pull off in any game. Except Assassin's Creed. No, and the, I mean, you know, Arkham games sometimes as well. Even though I love the Arkham games. You know, that one button counter stuff is... Well, you know. Oh, there must be like... Some other way to extend your jump as well. Later. I like that they're teasing this. I'm assuming you'll be able to explore this area. Get punched in the air. A healing shard. Are we even going towards... Yeah, we are. There's that path as well, which... Oh. It's a big-ass monster. That was my maybe a bad idea. I'm trying to heal. Yeah, fuck you, monster. Double counter. I swear. Oh, it's dead. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Well, actually. Took a lot of HP. But whatever. Fortifier enhancement. Enhancements can be socketed into a weapon from your weapon inventory. Okay. Sounds good. Unbreakable. Kind of had a feeling. Uh, let's see. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Oops. Uh, consumables. We have three of them. Oh, there's a small... Okay. But then how do you... Oh, there. <laughs> Should I actually look at the... Never mind, never mind. Did I socket it? Oh, it does it automatically? I'm fine with that. Just, you know. I completely didn't even know that I had small healing shards. thought there was only one category. Wait, these... Huh. Is there like a cool... There's a cooldown period. Oh, there's three categories. Nephilim's Respite, Healing Shard, and Small Healing. Well, I'm stupid. Or it could be that I'm not, and that wasn't explained well. That tree. It's impressive. But is it just me, or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Oh, the makers. I remember those guys. Those guys are pretty cool. The kind of dwarves, I guess, of Darksiders. Should have just let him fall.
There's gonna be something else here, right? Thought I was gonna like come alive or something. That was hella worthy exploration. Didn't even didn't even cost me anything. Yeah, it does restock automatically. Or maybe I just got a, a refill and I didn't notice. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay. I'm liking this combat system. I'm just waiting to get more wombo combos. More weapons for sure as well. We're f One thing I know for sure is we're gonna get a gun. Well, actually... Because, you know, Strife has two guns, and one of them is with war, and the other one is with death, so... Actually, maybe we won't... I, I would like to get a gun. I like guns in these types of games. Oh, this guy. See, that looks like it's piercing him. Yeah, like straight up kill him. Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, Horseman. I am here in the name of... But then he ends up helping war, right? Doesn't he? I am Volgrim, merchant of the damned. A trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And yeah, Volgrim. I'm guessing upgrades, levels, all that. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Everything has like such puny ass wings in this game. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade. And I have souls to trade. You will consider my wares valuable. Let's trade them. Alright. Sure you can collect can feed collected souls to Volgrim to earn attribute points. Alright. And the teleport thing. Cool. Alright. Let me check my inventory. Cannot mass shatter, alright. No worries. That's all I wanted. Let's check what this guy has. Show me your, your wares. He has healing crystals. Havoc shot. Okay. This is wrath and this is for havoc form. Do we have that? Offense and defense, I'm guessing. And these are <clears throat> kind of hella expensive buffs. Alright. Eat them souls, Volgrim. Alright, cool. Three levels. And then we go back here and we have two attribute points. Physical damage and arcane damage. We'll get a little bit more HP. And I think... First of many indeed. Depending on how long this game is, of course. I heard... If my information is correct, it's around 20 hours. Which is about, you know, on par. Darksiders 2 was kind of the... Not <coughs> Damn. Alright. Darksiders 3 killed me, not clickbait. Uh, I heard, of course, Dark Souls 2 was the anomaly. Because that game was very long. Depending, okay. Temporarily call upon Furious Havoc form to decimate foes. Alright. I don't think I need this guy decimated. These are all bitches. Yeah, thought so. But still. Good to keep that in mind. 
It's weird that it's unlocked from the beginning, because, you know, you had to earn it in the... Well, not in Darksiders 2. In the first one, you had to get it back from... Oh, is Samael gonna show up in this game? He's like my favorite character. He has to write. He's like... Oh. That's a weird... Okay, ambush. I mean, I get what reviewers are saying that this game is old school. Like, that type of free screen load time thingy is... Again, yeah, very old school. But, you know, this is... um. And this is what people would call. The length these roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. All right, I'll, I'll let you Indeed, talk, Fury. Mistress. This is, I guess, what you would classify as a double A game. Not a battery, but you know, it has budget. It has advertising, kind of hype behind it. It's not an indie game, of course. It's not exactly your Call of Duty and all that. Thank fuck. No microtransactions in this one, although it did have an expensive as fuck Apocalypse Edition with all the figures and everything. I think all four horsemen. Uh, and of course the remastered versions of 1 and 2, which I'm for sure gonna get, by the way. I'm kind of thinking, now that I'm playing this game, it's like a normal ass door. Thinking of going, maybe, maybe going back to 2. And playing it may probably on stream if I'm gonna uh, the remastered version of course of two, which I've heard. Well, I mean, you know, you know, Dark Siders two. You know the series. Two is probably the one you know. Can we not jump up here? Because to me, it looks like there's some shit up there that I might want to use. So enemies do stagger. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We only need a small one, right? Yes. Not sure if I can make that. There's like a bunch of stuff everywhere. There's like a weird tornado thing there as well. You could probably use that to go up there, right? Although I feel like this game is pushing me towards this next uh, sin. Yeah, we for sure cannot make that. But I am interested in that little wind thingy. Oh, I've not been here before. I thought I looped around the building, but apparently not. But there's also no... There's no path... Did I loop her? No, it, it just looks the same. See, what I want to see is... Yup. Feels like, no, I did go through here. Alright. I'm just blind. Oh, man. Weird. Okay, this is really weird. Nope. <laughs> it don't work. It don't work. Probably need, like, wings or some shit for it to actually do stuff. I did not mean to do that. That was an accident. Oh well. Gonna have to just kind of slug through the rest of this. Hopefully there's not gonna be like some super super difficult bosses here. This should be a checkpoint, right? And this looks like Main hub-ish, for sure. There's a teleport thingy here. So I feel like... Humble, take your time. 
An excellent choice. What can we sell him? Oh, yes, we can sell back. We can sell him back his own shit, but <laughs> not gonna do that. Not planning on it. Oh, there's a dude. There's a lot of dudes. Me, we Let me tend to our this guy is awesome, old Thane. This guy is sick. Very flat head, but that doesn't matter. Call me Ulthane Blackhammer. So you'll not be flattening me today. Looks like a character from Lords of the Fallen. A maker, are you not? I when there's something to make. Today my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help. Return. This is gonna be human, human fetch quest, isn't it? Wrong question. <laughs> A tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. This is the dude from the Book of Eli, right? With your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? Trifles are a great dessert. That was a terrible joke. I don't know why I thought of that. Ancient demon horseman. Even maker. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! Now you should just concentrate on getting your Braille Bible to like wherever. You. you may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity but, you know. the chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use someone. I noticed the character that. texture change. Quite well without any help. <sighs> There's a fucking chart council member I behind us. Mr. Moniker, I am a maker. Who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulfane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across. Especially since it didn't seem like there were any women among them, so you know. Now they, they hell have no chance to survive. Direct them. How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One yeah, there's. A, we're gonna have to collect humans, right? Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. No, I doubt it will make your connection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of hell stretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. That's an extreme... Like, you could you could put a coffee tray on top of that head. Sounds good. What up? Oh, there are women among them. This one looks like a Viking, I swear. Welcome, 
Oh, that that's a that's a maker. Yeah. Okay. I was like, damn. But no, that's a maker. So where to next? Could go up this little bridge thingy and immediately fall off like an idiot. It's okay. Don't worry about my dumbass. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be all good. I can finally sleep safe. This place is beautiful. Really? Not the word I'd use, but hey, you do you. I'm guessing this is another way to go because the marker, the objective marker, is nowhere near. Apparently, the game is free in some aspects. Oh. It's a Dark Souls elevator. With the, with the press in the middle. Why does that keep happening? Not like anyone I did you say something? Huh. <laughs> She's gonna murder his ass. The talisman can be used to locate the other sins. Yeah, yeah, I know that. We have a nice open area. I have my fucking fury form unlocked. I feel like none of these guys deserve like the fury form these enemies are not exactly the most challenging so you know why waste it that's nice did he just fucking Fuck it, let's try it. L1, R2. That's a weird... Yeah, I thought so. Like, complete annihilation. That's very cool. It's unique for all of them, I'm guessing. Should have saved some for this guy as well. Adamantine can be used to upgrade your weapons. Nice. I always, whenever that circle shows up, I always think it's one of those execution scenes from the first game because the first game had those, like the God of War style, you know animated kills those are actually very cool but last it's, it's never that it's just an item so up there is where we have to go I think oops or maybe not probably this way right who's the next one wrath I'm guessing Altin is the one that unlocks combos as well. Fortification shard, is that? Which one is that? Damn, I've already lost count. Oh, hello. That magic attack is sick. I suck at dodging too. Oh, damn, I thought I was...
Yeah, so the game it does use the same system as uh, Darksiders 2, where you can only dodge a certain number of times. I cannot believe that hit me. There we go. Like... No, I guess not. You can keep dodging. Just must have something to do with the weird invincibility frames of it. We cannot go through here. Because uh, of... You know... Zelda rules. Alright. So I'm guessing that's the way... Oh, I see it. I see it. Never mind. Never mind. We're gonna leave that for the next episode, though. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Is that... I feel like there's a boss fight coming. This thing seems like it's like right under us. Since I don't want to fight a boss at the end of this episode, especially since I'm over time, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of I Missed the Obvious Treasure and Darksiders 3. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.